and there's uh, one small little bolt goes underneath here to 7 sixteenths. You want these fairly tight, the bolts that hold the tank. There's a lot of vibration, especially if you're using it on a snowblower. So there's my fuel line. It's a bit long, but it's going to do. I'm just going to put the clip back on. I put a new bushing right here. This part here was rotted. So that's new as well, it shouldn't leak. The new tanks don't use that bushing, it's just a plastic nipple that comes out. And it's pretty well, the fuel line is a quarter inch inside diameter. I didn't mention that earlier, but that's what it is. Now all I gotta do now is tighten the screw, uh, bolts on top of the tank. There we go. On these engines, I put a, a J8C Champion spark plug, and I set the gap at 30. So it's a pretty common setting for these engines. So 30 on the newer to come says I use either RJ17LM Champion or RJ19LM. So I'm just going to check the spark here. Yeah, there was good spark. So that's good. Now we're going to start it up. I'm going to start it up, see what happens. And I've got my wire here ready that I can just touch the body to turn it off. Anyways, that's all I'm going to do to this engine. Also, earlier this summer, I replaced the uh, fuel uh, carburetor bowl. I replaced the float, the gasket here. Pretty well rebuilt the whole carburetor. It's got new O-rings inside the screws and down here. But overall, it's in pretty good condition. Be good for a go-kart or snowblower, or actually for whatever your needs are. So, so there's the engine. I already added it had it started so hopefully it'll start easy so I'll try her out 